My name is Angelina Caggiano. I'm currently a first year PhD student at UMass Amherst. I work under Dr. Michael Nodler, focusing on traffic safety and specifically traffic control devices and their applications for facilitating vulnerable road users. My research focuses on the pedestrian hybrid beacon and the Massachusetts applications of drivers understanding each interval of that. So our preliminary work started with organizing all of the current locations within Massachusetts and how long they've been there, as well as analyzing some of the MassDOT campaigns and education with that and doing a lot of survey work to understand if drivers are familiar with this device by name, by image, and those intervals and their perspective actions with those intervals. The pedestrian Hybrid Beacon is a mid-block crosswalk device that's used to facilitate vulnerable road users um, across multi-lane and high-speed roadways. And so uh, they originated in Arizona back in the late 1990s, but they were first installed in Massachusetts in 2015. And then it wasn't until 2021 when MassDOT came out with their first education and public outreach campaign. So the results of this study really showed us that drivers are confused by mostly all of the phases and the most successful phase actually was the solid red interval, which is one of the most important intervals within the pedestrian hybrid beacon because that is when the walk interval occurs for the pedestrian. And so some of the other intervals that people are confused by, flashing yellow, solid yellow, and even the dark interval, which drivers have expressed being confused because they're, they're taught that at a dark traffic signal, they are required to stop and treat it like a stop sign. So some educated guesses that we have on just the application and use of these PHBs in Massachusetts is that each phase is going to be very different, and especially at the different types of crossings, such as rail trail crossings versus um, more high-speed roadway crossings, like interstates and things like that. And then also in areas like school zones or areas where pedestrian activity isn't that high. So some previous literature from Kay Fitzpatrick and other authors have really showed us that there is high compliance for pedestrian hybrid beacons and they have been successful in facilitating crossings at these mid-block crosswalks. But from what we've seen in our preliminary data collection in Massachusetts, we have not seen high compliance. And we have um, some efforts in place where we're going to be doing some video data collection over the next few months and analyze the stopping, partial stopping, and full stopping at each of these intervals and really go into it interval by interval. Here in figure one, this is the MassDOT infographic that was created in 2021. Um, and this was used to really send out to police officers and agencies to notify drivers and just educate them on how the PHB is working and how it's intended to facilitate users across the road. And then in figure two, you see our preliminary data efforts of collecting all the known locations of pedestrian hybrid beacons in Massachusetts. And there is really strong um, involvement in Eastern Mass compared to Western Mass. This is where UMass Amherst is located out, out in um, where the few locations are. And there are um, predicted to be a few more locations installed throughout the next few years. And then, so some of the survey results, um, we surveyed drivers of Massachusetts license holders and non-Massachusetts license holders. And we didn't really see a difference in the familiarity of these drivers, so we were able to analyze the results together. And as you can see, the flashing yellow and solid yellow have the most diversity in those responses, so of correlating action to that phase. So drivers were shown a video clip of that interval, and they were asked what their perspective action would be. And then additionally, the solid red interval performed the best um, within that survey, and that is really great because that is when the walk interval occurs for that pedestrian. But then additionally, the flashing red interval is of concern because there is that clearance walking interval for the pedestrian, and if drivers aren't stopping and checking if the crosswalk is clear before proceeding, then that could be alarming if there's a secondary user crossing the road. This research was a collaborative effort of the UMass Transportation Center as well as Safer Sim Research Project that really collaborates vulnerable road users and safety. And also we're really excited because we were just awarded the University Transportation Center grant through USDOT and we're really excited to be a regional UTC um, and do even more work on the pedestrian hybrid beacon in the next few years.